why do the number of days in a month vary? The first people to measure a year with any exactness were the ancient Egyptians. They started a lunar monthly calendar based on the new moon's appearance every 29 or 30 days. It was not very accurate. The Romans also had a lunar calendar and to make it agree with the solar year they added extra months whenever they needed to. Finally, Julius Caesar adopted a new calendar based on the solar year of 365 and one fourth days. Various changes had to be made in the month to make this calendar right. Here are the changes made by Caesar and others in the days of month. January was originally the 11th month and had 29 days. Caesar made it the first month and gave it 31 days. February had 29 days with 30 in leap year. Emperor Augustus took one day from it and added it to August. The number of days in Mars was always 31. April as a lunar month had 29 days. Caesar added a day to give it 30. May always had 31 days and remained unchanged by Caesar. June had 29 days and Caesar gave it 30. July, named after Julius Caesar, was given 31 days by him. When August was a lunar month, it had 29 days. Caesar gave it 30. Emperor Augustus, who named it after himself, added the day he took from February to make it equal to Caesar's month. September had 29 days as a lunar month. Caesar gave it 31. But Augustus reduced it to 30. October, in Caesar's calendar, had 30 days, but Augustus gave it 31. November also had 31 days under Caesar, and Augustus reduced it to 30. December originally had 29 days, Caesar gave it 30, and then Augustus added another, giving it 31. The important thing for an accurate calendar was to have 365 days. The number of days in each month, as you see, was decided by Caesar and then by Augustus for whatever reasons they wished. We took our calendar from the Romans.